What is up everybody? Today we are doing the review of this card behind us, which is a desktop design that I created. And you were tasked with creating a tablet version and a phone version of this layout. So we have a few to take a look at and learn a lot from. And then tomorrow we're gonna move away from responsive design and into a new area of UI UX. So make sure to sub up, check out designcourse.com and let's keep going. All right, everybody, are you ready? Yes, you are. Okay, so just as a quick recap, this is the original desktop design right here. Keep it in your memory. We'll come back to this for a couple of these submissions. All right, so here is the first one by Ricky Malana. Malana, okay. So this is their tablet variation of this design right here, okay? So I did make some slight adjustments, but Ricky got it mostly right. Good job, Ricky. So right here, the one thing that I had a problem with is um, we have an uneven amount of white space between a couple of your, spe your sections. So if I hit the rectangle tool and we draw out, oops, we'll do it this way instead, the rectangle tool, and we kind of draw out the, the distance the, of the white space between the bottom of this piece of type and the top of this label right here, it is that tall, okay? In other words, the height is 30 pixels, right? So what you would aim to try to do is to get that same amount of white space on these other sections. If not, then you would want to go significantly more so, not almost the same amount of distance, if you know what I mean. Um, so here, it's almost the same amount, maybe by like 40% more or so. Um, if I drag it out, it goes from 30 to 50. Um, I would keep these all roughly around the same um, white space, or you could separate them out uh, a little bit differently. But what I chose to do is just push it way down so that we have more white space because up here it's a little bit cluttered. All right, we have the label. I mean, we have the, the value, the labels up here and then the labels right underneath it and it's pretty close. So I pushed that down quite a bit. Another thing I did is just slightly reduce the font size of this right here to this and it kind of just fits a little bit better as you can see right here. All right, and right here, we have the mobile section, the mobile design. Um, there's some issues, like for instance, you, I can see just visually, I can, see, well, obviously visually, uh, if I hit, uh, if I got a guide out, see how the bottom of AKR, and this is slightly up a little bit, tiny minute little things like that. Um, also, it's, it's a little bit, um, it gets a little bit kind of cluttered right here with the white space. So I kind of separated things out just a little bit more in this section. But overall, very good design. Um, this is one of the better entries. You completely kind of understand it pretty well. So let's go, continue on. This is from Chinu. And this one, I'll be honest, I don't think there was any issues with this. Um, it looks like they basically, I uh, scaled down almost everything, but I'm looking at the size of the type. So basically they maintain the exact same layout. So if I get the original up here and just put it right here, we could see on the tablet version, it's pretty much the same exact thing. Now you can do that, but you have to make sure that your type, like for instance, this type is 15 uh, pixels. I would not go lower than like 14. Um, so you could get away with doing it this way. Now let's see what they did on the actual phone version. Now the phone version, this is way too small. This is a big no-no. Because watch, if I, I click on one of these elements and I zoom up here, 9.55 for this font size, way too small. That's pretty much unreadable. Um, so you have to utilize more rows you need to stack things more all right and i didn't bother doing a revision because it would take a long time uh, because it's a more intricate design but i just wanted to point that one out here's another one from uh I, ankit kumar and here's one area that they uh, did not follow the rules <laughs> so in the guidelines on uh, the previous video um i had mentioned specifically to make sure that the cards reach all the way out. So what I did is I obviously made it reach all the way out. Obviously this would go over here. Um, and then they also did something that didn't make sense in terms of the grouping. So if I show you the grouping, um, or if we go back to the original design right here, 
and I'll just kind of paste this over here. You'll see the first values here on the desktop version, the one that I designed, are you know the, the passenger information, um, my name, date of birth, the destination. Um, but over here, they took the destination and date of birth and separated it from where the name is. So, I mean, this can be done with CSS grids, but you don't want to do that typically. You want to try to maintain the same flow of information. Um, so what I did is I, I refactored that into this design right here. So we keep the date of birth. Theirs was down here. Mine's right here as it was before. And then we have the ticket information, which they had up above. I put it beneath and then just kind of restructured things um, down here a little bit more. So you don't always have to have things that go all the way out. This would work just fine. Um, and then let's take a look at the mobile version. So you can see um, there's quite a bit of white space in certain areas here. And you know, you're mixing things up again based on the, um, the original design where this is next to this element. Um, so I kind of refactored it and just kind of resituated things around here into a two column approach, essentially. All righty. Let's continue on. Next one is from Rohit. This one, I didn't really feel there had to be any significant changes to. Um, two column approach right here up top with date of birth makes sense. Ticket number, destination, board time, gate, seat. Um, all this, and they also collapse this into two rows instead of the two columns because typically this is over here. That works as well. I have no problem with this. Great. Same thing down here. Just very simple, laying things out, two columns right here. I, th I still think it is a solid design. Very nice. Next one up. Now this one I decided to include because it's a legitimate submission that we had. And unfortunately, this is probably on the lower end of quality in terms of responsive design adjustments. And that is because they completely kind of got rid of the overall card aesthetic that we've established. So if I take this back down here, you know, uh, you have to imagine if you're on desktop and you dra you drag your browser in, all of a sudden it's going to change into an entirely different layout right here, uh, like for a tablet, right? So you don't want that. You want to try to maintain the same aesthetics like the background, the stroke, the same colors as much as possible. I can even tell this has been squashed even, so it's not it's it's not the original perspective, and that will that's a good way to just easily kill the quality of a design. So try to avoid situations like this um, where you're changing a lot of information. And I did not bother, sorry, I did not bother re, um, re redesigning this because again, I just don't have enough time. Okay, a next one is from Sejoy. All right, so here is their, very, um, this is the desktop. This is the original design right here, okay? This is the desktop. I put this here specifically just to demonstrate something. So if I take a, a look at this, they really changed it up quite a bit because they took this element right here and put it up into here, which you know what? I'm not, I think it looks fine. Design wise, it looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't make sense to take the flight ticket, which is originally up here and put it all the way at the bottom. Like I would keep that up there as well. And another thing I wanted to point out is check a look at this. You see this, the, the white space between label and value. And then the white space between this label and value is significantly larger. So I show that right here. If I were to take this and put it here, it does not match up. You have to avoid those types of mistakes as much as possible. This right here is actually a pretty good design. Um, you want to avoid trying to um, screwing up like the little element right here with the 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 anchor points, it's supposed to be maintained to look like this at all sizes. And it is possible to, to fix that. I mean, if I double click this, all we have to do is just drag that back up and get it looking like it was before. Move that here. Well, grab it, Gary. There you go. There, and that's more close to the original, essentially. Okay, so, um, also this one, yep, pretty good stuff right there. Next one is Zyad. All right, so here's one thing that I would definitely adjust is taking the label and making it smaller. Just make it the same size as, as everything else. Um, this needs adjusted though. I can see this is up slightly higher than that, but I'm just, I was trying to do stuff quickly. Um, 
Looking at everything else, I think that was just the main adjustment that I made. I did add, if you look over here, their uh, description text or this type of text is a little bit too squashed, not enough line height. So I fixed that right there. And same concept, I would definitely scale this down, get that all on one line, probably same size as this stuff right here as well. And you would definitely want to increase the size of that, like this, this, this value um, or this QR code, because uh, it would be hard for that to scan. Okay, next up would be Myar. Okay, I have no clue how to pronounce your name. I'm a star. Sorry. <laughs> um, this one is interesting. They actually left a comment. Um, I should have included the comment, but they said, me personally, when I'm on a flight or whatever, or I'm in line for a flight, I want the QR code to be at the top so they can just quickly and easily scan it. That's a good point. So I have no problem with this being up at the top. Um, that I don't fly hardly ever. So that's something that I overlooked. It would probably make sense to have the QR code near the top anyhow. So they did a very good job. I didn't see any revisions that were absolute necessary. Um, this is all good. Very nice. And that is the last one. So Hopefully you all enjoyed that. You're learning more. We're nearing the halfway point of this 30 day UI UX series. We are going to continue on tomorrow with yet another video on a topic that I'm going to conceive of very shortly. And I think we're also going to be doing a live stream very soon as well. We'll do a live stream or two for one of these days as a part of the series. So I will see you all soon. Hopefully you stick around, you keep it, you, you stick it out, tough it out try to do all the challenges you can. Even if I don't review them, just watch my reviews. You're going to get better at the end of this 30 days. All right, everybody, I will see you soon. Goodbye.